G'day space engineers. I'm sure you're sick and tired of having to build and repair your drones, missiles and small ships. So guess what? Today I'm going to show you how to build your own printer from scratch nice and easy. So today we're on the Earth-like planet, minimalistic mods, creative mode tools on but still in survival. Let's get stuck into it. Obviously this would be on your base with power production and component storage, all that sorts of stuff. So I'm just going to jam a hundred uranium ingots in the actual reactor and you'd obviously have some storage that will set up later to start with you'll want to delete that block and place three conveyor junctions just like so before placing down a piston facing this way from there you'll want to have a welder with the conveyor ports on either side in that orientation and let's just place two more on either side from there let's go into the actual piston and let's control left click and let's just increase that velocity to a positive one so it will extend as you can see just there we'll wait for that to actually fully extend and get our advanced rotor out so we can get this all set up place it right in the middle delete that block and then place i don't have any other mods in this one so let's just get our weld our grinder out get rid of that nice and easy go into the terminal of this grid and let's just add a small rotor head to that advanced rotor so let's just weld this up nice and quick and that's why i don't have to worry about the actual resources let's get our small conveyor port or small conveyor junctions and let's just raise it up a little bit so on that advanced rotor you'll want to share the inertia tensor very quickly and lock the rotor so it shares the actual distribution of the new grid being built with the rest of your base and that the rotor won't rotate in any way shape or form since this has the ability to transfer power and some small resources mainly hydrogen and oxygen through your base into your newly acquired drone or design whatever it may be so from here you'll want to measure out eight blocks from here so we've got one two three four five six seven eight and that's the ninth one on one side this one will have one two three four five six seven and eight so right here is where we'll want to place the extra conveyor junctions just like so and that extra that extra piston and the welders in the same exact mirrored orientation as the other side obviously you'll want to extend this piston out the same as the other one and we'll get into the speeds in just a second when we have finished this all set up so once that's done i'm just going to extend this up a little bit and move it over so it's in between both of these designs obviously you're not going to get it directly in the middle as it would be in between those two blocks but this right here is perfectly fine so let's get a small merge block as that's what most of your designs will probably be using to be connected it's just the most stable and then from there you can use a small connector to then transfer those small resources like hydrogen etc which you can build into your blueprint designs or whatever it may be so that's all set up nice and neat what you'll need to do now is we need to place down the button panel which if you want to be a little bit safer we'll place it over here uh, actually no we'll place it just right here we should be all right and let's set up a few groups before we get any further here we have the two pistons and we're just going to name the group printer pistons just like so and then we'll grab all of the welders available on this actual grid for this printer and obviously just name them printer welders nice and easy make sure they're off as we'll get this on the actual buttons so we'll go to the groups i like to have all the pistons on the printer to have on and off on that first button it just makes it simpler and easier in the future which i may show you from there you'll want the welders on the second button to turn on and off and the way this will actually work is by increasing and decreasing the velocity so the way i'd like it so this will be the decrease velocity so it will build your drone or design on the other side of it you'll want to reset the printer by increasing that velocity 
So they will then extend outwards with a positive number. From there, let's go into both of these pistons and I'm going to set it to a specific value of negative 0 0.08. That's a main purpose and the magical number for how this printer sets up. As you can see, it's actually retracting really slowly. That's perfect and that's exactly what we want because we can go down to the button just here and increase the velocity. And then now, since we've increased the velocity by 0.5 meters per second, minus that 0 0.8, we get the value of a positive 0.42. That will then extend it, aka resetting the actual piston and the printer itself. So from here, you'll want to get obviously a projector. And give me a second while I line this up. The easiest way to line it up is by placing down a control seat nice and close to where you can see it. Jump into it, go to the G menu, and then increase horizontal, decrease, increase, decrease, increase, decrease. And that should be enough if your design is in the correct orientation. So let's just go to the projector and I'm going to add a really simple patrol drone design that you can find on the Steam Workshop, as you can see the little symbol there. And I'm just going to double click that, keep the projection, and once we've finished setting it all up, I'll click this to hide the design so it's easier on your computer or whatever it may be. So obviously this doesn't need to be rotated as the merge block is right there that we need to line up to on this to build the design. So let me just go into this, hold the Alt button to look over with your mouse, and by pressing all these buttons, you can now line it up nice and simply. So give me a second while I get this done. All right, now that that's all aligned, you can see that it's all lining up. It was very easy to do just using that control seat from here, you can obviously place down a connector of any sort to then connect up to your drone itself. So let's just get that out of our hands. Nice and easy, nice and simple. We wouldn't have to do much more than that. Apart from having to connect not only both pistons, but also that inside advanced rotor to your main storage and to your hydrogen storage as well. Obviously, I'm just using these infinite component generators just to kind of skip that process as it's a brand new save and I cannot be bothered. So now that everything's all set up, everything's all connected, you don't have to do anything more except let me just turn off my creative mode tool so it's completely survival, no mods, etc, etc. Let's turn on those welders. Let's retract those welders nice and slowly by decreasing their velocity by that small amount. And obviously, it's easy, simple. It should just build up everything as it should be. If need be, and you think your design won't be built in the middle, just press button one. It will turn off those actual pistons and it will stop them from moving. Turn them back on when you need to. And obviously with this somewhat lopsided design, it's perfect for actually building turrets. As you see, it kind of scatters them over to then spread out the resources between these two or six welders. As you can see from here, you can just go into right over here and then just lock. It would then be able to transfer any and all resources that you may need to obviously with these small ports in mind. I've got a brand new Dronely season coming out that's designed to teach you everything on drones and much, much more. So stick around till then. Stay sharp as always. See ya.